Uh, and so this matchup is going to be a little bit more... I mean, Mithra's speed is just so, just so quick. And yeah. that's something that Snake can kind of struggle with at times, you know? He yeah. needs his space to pull his grenades, to do all of his shenanigans. So, oh, oh but the little duck. I, I was just... So... Okay. I'm not sure if Stream can hear us. Oh, they, they can hear us? All right, okay. Okay. So we're going to be still going into this. So Charles, one thing is that he's already using the low profile from yeah. Snake to dodge some of these hitboxes. And so I think the micro-spacing game is going to be where Charles, that's how he's going to be getting his voice. And I think... Oh my god, he did not notice. Oh, that. Yeah. We, uh, we, we have to be doing uh, regular PSA updates on where the location of C4 is. Uh, and, um... Uh, uh, huh. It, see, it, it looks uh, like we might see the p Daisy pretty soon. <laughs> Stream is falling apart, I think. Yeah. <laughs> On all fronts. Now, all right, so Blank now down three stocks to one. Is this the sort of thing where he's already thinking about how his Peach is going to do in game two? Uh, so if I was him, I, was pro I might think about game two, try to get a few habits, because that's being sto stock two, not a good look. Especially against a snake. Yeah. Snake is a character that notoriously one of the best characters in the now, game with a lead. No, I probably I might not even switch to the Peach because I think Fire and Mithra. I also play the I actually play the exact same core as Blank, oddly enough. Just better he's better player. <laughs> but I think they do really good in this matchup. They're one of the better So Pyra. This is one of the matches I think Pyra should do really well in, and Mithra, if you like manage. So yeah. what adventures does Pyra have specifically? Here? So now you see that you see that side B? Yeah. If, if, so snakes like to pick up grenade and it it does blow up the nade that they have in hand and put put a lot of shield pressure. And once their shield if they they do it when their shield is small enough, it'll explode them also. Now, we saw Charles take that game. Will we see the switch or will we just see the run back? Or what do you think? I think we're going to see a switch. Uh, see a switch? It's, it's hard to say because it felt like a lot of that game was because of that SD that happened. But even then, even before that, Charles just felt like he was spacing around Pyramithra so well. And yeah. Peach, the character, the micro spacing is so good for her. Okay, you know? so we do see the Daisy. Oh, I'm and sorry, yeah, no. He doesn't play Peach. Yeah, he Who plays Peach? Play Peach? Daisy, solo Daisy. Mate. <laughs> I actually never seen Blake switch to Peach. Yeah. Oh, missing the drag down. Oh. <laughs> and this is, I mean, we didn't really see any huge combos from the Pyramithra. Yeah. So getting an early lead with just some nice peach, peach things, I definitely think that's an uh, effective game plan that seems to be working out. Yeah. All right. And now we're seeing a lot more camping. You're seeing a bit of turn of camping. And amazing, just running through that, knowing that Peach is one you could just make it through. Okay, yeah. <laughs> there are honestly very few things that Peach's run speed can get through, but... Yeah. She, is she... Daisy, Peach, Daisy... She takes a stroll whenever she whenever she, she's dashing. Whoa, the roll right there was so crucial. Outplayed. But, yeah. <laughs> and Peach being so floaty means that she's going to be dying off the top pretty early to things yeah. like that up tilt. Yeah. If you're a floatier character, you die off the top quicker. Fast forwards tend to take a longer time. Yeah. And he seems to be struggling to end the stock right here. Oh, that was so good. Commentator's curse? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But well, yeah. it's a blessing for Blank. <laughs> blank, hire me. I'll be your, uh, what's In the, not like the opposite of a coach. Inside man. <laughs> Ooh, but. I mean, that's, that is the sort of thing that is going to be relevant. But the damage early on seems very consistent for Blank. I mean, look at that. 61% in the 79 in the blink of an eye. But when it comes down to those moments where he needs to be getting the kill, Charles is just being a little bit too sneaky and yeah. finding the openings for himself first. Oh, um, wanted to turn a pool. I like those stops right there. Can Snake crouch underneath Peach Bomber? Uh, depends where it is. Oh, it's a Saturn. 
What, are you shielded? Well, he threw it. He threw it. I thought he shielded before he threw it. Oh. Yeah, just get it out of there. Okay. I think Saturn destroys the matchup. <laughs> On both sides, if one of them gets the Saturn, it's just, the pressure is just immense. Yeah, because I mean, I feel like both of these characters, they want to be, like, they, they shield because of how scary yeah. the other one is. Yeah, and he just drops shield right before the name. He's like, it's not blowing up. Yeah. Well, he probably jumped out of it. Well, so if he had dropped shield, would he have gotten the parry? Well, uh, yes. Yes, but he would have to done it perfect, like a better timing. Mm. He, in his case, he just did it really early. Are you buying Could have been right. Oh, but now we. I think this Peach pick so far has been working uh, out. <laughs> accidentally grabbing the ledge. Yeah, but Charles is at 137%. But should die. I mean, oh, he didn't go down for it. One more time. Yeah. We're getting into these just every time, just resetting him off, and there it is! Yeah. This, the, the, the distance! Yeah, no. He's just, did he extend did, his hurt Did box? you not watch oh, Space Jam 2? He's gonna be dunking I, I, on these fools. I haven't watched Space Jam 2 yet. Yo, watch Space Jam 2. I've gotta watch Space Jam 2. LBJ. I'm not even kidding. Here's the thing Have you watched Space Jam 2? No, I'm actually gonna watch it tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> so uh, this is my feelings on Space Jam 2, and I feel like it's necessary to completely digress from this match in order to say this. It looks like. It's going to be a really bad movie that's just a cash grab, and I'm really honestly kind of angry that they're, I'm going to be paying $16 to see it. Yeah, did you watch Space Jam 1? Yeah. That, was, that looked like a cash grab, yeah, I mean, we saw it as kids. I know. No, like, listen. I, I They know the trick. I, I Listen, I fully admit that I'm going to be paying to see it. Yeah. I'm Sorry. just mad about it. Sorry for you. <laughs> Don't pirate movies. <laughs> What? what? <laughs> oh my god, he also... I think he switched to the red skin. Oh, trying Charles? to blend into his opponent's surroundings. Yeah, what a tactical advantage. Yeah, dude. Snake known for his espionage. Not gonna lie, people who counterpick skins intimidate the hell out of me. Why? I'm gonna start doing it to you. What do they know that I don't? <laughs> Ooh. Well, maybe he should have stuck with the uh, with the old gray outfit because right now Blank is just putting him through the grinder. Some people may say cooking. Clicking? Like right, Blank is cooking him. <laughs> oh, all right, Blank. I'm learning so many new things today. Oh my God, salty! <laughs> oh, Charles once again. That's such high percent, and this is the sort of thing where at. You see, at that point, any little hit sends him so far away that he's forced into either an edge guard situation or having to land. And Blank has been pretty consistently punishing his landings. Yeah, no, Blank is doing a good job. I'm punishing the landing. Okay. I don't know what that Nikita was, but he just got grabbed right out of it. Yeah. I don't even recommend the grab punish there. I thought he was going to down tilt, but it's probably bu something buffered. Yeah, too short on the dashing. Stuck right there. I know the feeling. And up till takes the stock right there. Oh, oh, nice use of the turn up. That's true that both these players definitely have a strong sense of item play. Uh, we haven't seen too much of it so far, but. Oh, uh, we. I think we've seen a good amount. Nothing too fancy. Th that's I. Yes, I know. But, I think about fancy. Yeah, they do showcase like that. They do know. Oh. Ducking up the grab, but they do showcase like their use of the item. Well, I'm talking specifically the other players' items. Oh. Tom <gasps> oh, that was such a good delay on that recovery. You saw Blank head right down there into the drop zone, ready to be killing him. And these grenades, that air dodge was so clutch. Yeah. <laughs> but guess what? That up tilt. Show me those legs, boy. Show me the glutes. Like, that 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 up tilt is all about the glutes, man. You're right. <laughs> oh! <gasps> so smart. Yep. Let's Ex go. Extending the hitbox by connecting on the cypher. Blank clearly has matchup experience here, and he's using it to the best he can. But Charles has just that tiny bit of a lead. And, oh, no, Snake with a lead can escalate so quickly. Where? Oh, he's tried to read the roll, and... Who's trying to read the, the end of the planet, man? Yeah. This man, he wants the books to finish. But we got another chapter right now. 
Oh, yeah. That can be really hard for Peach. This was something that Blank wasn't struggling with at the beginning, but now every time he wants to get one of those combos started, they both blow up. Yeah. So that can be due to the timing he gets to grab or if, if he's pummeling. And if you pummel Snake... Death Stitch! We don't pay no mind. Oh, drop what, the stitch. What, what, he can grab it, though. Yeah. What? He air dodge, pass ledge, and he's done, though. Horrible way to finish, for it to finish.